today we are talking to Mr. Anita Gala, who is an MBA from India and taking care of operations management as a director. Uh, I would like to ask Mr. Agarwal, in, in 2011, your motto was to establish a university. You succeeded. What is the motto and what uh, you decided to work in 2012? Our primary motto is to uplift the medical education in this region, especially in paramedical courses, uh, PhD courses, and research work. This is the primary aim. In 2012, <coughs> in the coming session, we introduce uh, maximum paramedical and technical courses in medical. Uh, uh, like, um, for example, uh, X-ray technician, uh, OT technician, lab technician, and <coughs> emergency for paramedical force. These courses will be international standard? Will be totally international standard. Because we already have trained uh, faculty and modern equipment which are imported from Germany and USA. Okay, okay. About this, right? will you tell about the hospital, what we are doing in hospital? What type of factories are dividing to UK family? Uh, with the hospital, actually we are looking at a major expansion now. We are coming up with cardiac, uh, cardiology department with uh, two cath labs, two operation theatres and two unit of doctors with cardiac thoracic surgery and interventional cardiology. And <coughs> along with that we are coming up with uh, kidney care Center, developing a kidney care center, whereby we'll be doing high level of uh, kidney operation surgeries as well as transplant in the near future. In the last, we'll be coming with, with uh, cancer center, the cancer research institute here, with the investment of more than fact crores in the cancer. We are coming with the latest, coming up with the latest uh, machinery like linear accelerator, PET scan, gamma knife, etc. And relation therapy. How do we be better or I mean in comparison to the government of this as far as the cancer is concerned? Uh, as of now, um, uh, in South Rajasthan there is no cancer center. Okay. There are only two oncologists which are there in our uh, hospital, one is Onco Medicine and Onco Surgeon. And uh, in South Rajasthan, I think more of Rajasthan only Jaipur has this facility. Well as well as my we started in 2013. Uh, 2013. Yeah. Cancer will start in 2013, mid 2013 because uh, we are in the right now conceptualization phase and the design phase will come and we will do the implementation phase thereafter. Is there any plan to provide free medical assistance to the people who cannot afford the medical Yes, then. Uh, running free medical services for the below poverty line uh, patient as well as for the patient uh, who are underprivileged and uh, do not have access uh, to health anywhere else. We provide, provide them free uh, diagnosis, consultation and treatment along with the free medicines. Number of patients uh, Yes, hospital. Number of patients. We approximately how many patients, how many patients are in the room per day? Uh, how many patients are coming here? Ah, we have uh, OPD of around 900 to 1000 every day here, and we have we are admitting around 90 to 95 patients every year every day, and then just the Number of patients 95. The number of beds is admissions. I'm talking about admitting and discharging every day. Otherwise, uh, the patients who are admitted as I think more than six hundred. Six hundred patients. It has been reported that uh, you have appointed most the seniors uh, doctors, uh, especially retired persons. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them have not a good uh, track. Mm -hmm. Do you expect that these doctors will uh, provide better medicine, medical treatment to the Mm. First of all, I did not understand uh, what you meant by saying they did not have a track. Most of the doctors who have come from the government hospital 
have an experience of more than 20, 25 years in their respective field. Uh, they have dealt with all kinds of diseases and patients, so they have, and they went to teaching position. So I think most of the doctors are uh, have coped up with the latest technology as well as uh, experience. And we, at the same time, we have brought young youngsters, also young doctors from all across the country. So they have come up with more expertise and the latest program. So we have a mix and blend of both. We do conduct CMEs, continue medical education for our doctors and the national and international conferences. We have already had an uh, international conference for uh, EMD, pediatric, uh, chest and TB, and pulmonary heart, uh, pulmonary diseases. Segmentation of the uh, cons uh, consensus are educated in our hospital. Segmentation that there's segmentation that comes from the from the consensus that you have that you have organized in your uh, doctors do learn from about the latest medicines okay. and they keep updating their department with the latest knowledge of medicines. So that is how it, it happens. Anything more you want to add? Um, something more about... Uh, since it's a medical college, uh, we have professors with a uh, lot of experience, we have associate professors and assistant professors. So you will find that each and every department has a lot of doctors. And so that is why the patient get all around care. So there is a doctor with him all the time. So that is why the treatment time is very less here and the cost is as well as very really important. Very important. Very important. Thank you. Thank you. By per capita income of the students, do you think that they are in position to afford the treatment that you are providing? Yes, um, see, as you said, the, uh, the, uh, most of the patients in Rajasthan, most of the people, they have a long travel area and they don't have much disposable income to spend on health care. Looking at that, we have kept our hospital rates very less. For say we charge 100 rupees per day for a bed. We are charging 10 rupees for the consultation. And for other diagnostic and operation, we are charging uh, very, very much uh, affordable. Looking that in, uh, in mind, we have started free bus service coming from Chater Information Center till here. We are not charging anything from the patient whether he is coming or he is getting dropped over. Any message you want to give to the people of the Southern Rajasthan or to the global world? I think it is very important uh, to have awareness about your about your health. About uh, so it is better to prevent any disease to actually catch a disease and get the treatment. So I wish everyone who is watching this uh, good health and great life. Thank you.